What's up guys, AJ and Boarding. Um, so I've had a few people asking me how how do you put an um, Android on an iPod or an iPad. And well, you can't. You can download some apps that are like it. You can do some things to make it look like it. Um, so here's the coolest way to make it look like an Android. It doesn't actually change anything, it just changes the way it looks. Um, if you haven't heard of it yet, this app is called Dream Board, which you can find in Cydia. Uh, it is free, although most of the themes are not free, but there are some free ones. Maybe if you can find a source that has free ones too, that works too. Um, so here it is. If I open up Dream Board, it shows you the different ones you have. Oh, my app. This one finally showed up. I downloaded this a while ago. And I'll have to look at that one too. Anyways, here's an Android one. <clears throat> it's called Honey Honeypad Light. Oh, it's upside down here. Let's see if I can switch this. Okay, that's weird. Usually it automatically turns, but for some reason right now it's being retarded. But there it is. Um, it's just like an Android, so I can swipe in between pages. I don't know why my camera keeps on turning. I'm sorry. It has some autofocusing, adjusting motion thing, and I can't turn it off, so I apologize for that. Um, anyways, so I go up here to my apps, and all my apps are in there. It does change up your. It doesn't. Ch I'm sorry. It puts your apps in alphabetic order. So it's not going to be the same layout that you're normally used to, but I guess it'll be just as easy to find. I'm seeing that it's in alphabetic order. Um, it picks up your favorites. Oh, now it's only for Pro. Guess not. That's what I get for updating. But anyways, if you update to the Pro version, you can get your favorites. Uh, you can view your games, your social, you know, like Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff up, and then your utilities too. But obviously they took that out and made a better version of this now. Because, you know, nothing that's good can be free in life anymore. Um, come back here and go to your home screen. You can, I believe, edit the widgets. Let's see if I can still do that. But you can see the weather back here. I don't have it set. I don't really mess with it or use it that much. Um, here, let's see. Set zip code. I'll just put in... Let's see if that works. Yep, there we go. So here goes my hometown. It is snowing there. It's negative two degrees out. And as you can see the background, it's actually snowing. So it's cool because it has some animated background and it's got um, live wallpapers. <coughs> um, you can also add some other widgets here. Let's see if I add the clock. Oh, can't do that anymore either. <laughs> I guess you have to have the pro version to do a lot of this stuff now. It used to be all free, but I think they made a pro version and want you to pay for all this now. Um, you can adjust the way your widgets are laid out and your icons. Um, they have a few different wallpapers here you can choose from. So, let's see if I change it. Let's see if this one... So, it's not live anymore, but, you know, you can still change it. Um, calendar up there, date, weather. Oops. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that. You can actually click on Google up here and that's how you can access your internet right away. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see what this thing does. No, nope. microphone doesn't do anything. That was a lie. Uh, let's see. You can adjust your themes to make it look like different types of, you know, Android um, versions. So let's see if I can. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a complete fail, guys. But anyways, this is how you can get Android theme look on your iPad that's fully functional, not you know a winter board thing that just changes everything it has in the same layout. This one actually changes the layout and everything. <clears throat> you can still multitask. Um, your apps aren't going to look any different when you open it. When you open your apps, they're still going to look the same. Everything's the same, except for the home page and the main layout. Um, and that's pretty much it for this. Again, this app is called Dreamboard. You can find it in Cydia. It's free. I will put the source written in the description.